How's it going, everybody? Doing uh, the answers part of my questions and answers uh, vid that I put up last week. I got them all up on my phone here, which I probably should have done on my last one, but uh, maybe I did do it on my last one. I used to just write them out on paper, but I hopefully get to all of them. I don't, I think they all should be lined up perfectly here in the comments, but uh, let me see. First one here is from Scott Munn. Uh, what ASMR channels do you watch? Admittingly, admittedly, I haven't been watching a ton lately. I've just been focusing on making vids and then other stuff. Um, but I do, you know, I've watched plenty of channels. Uh, ones I typically go to or uh, my ASMR addiction is really good. Um, if you like gum chewing, she is... Uh, the best you're gonna you're gonna get for gum chewing um really good and does a lot of like unique uh, role plays too as well funny stuff in there as well she does you know she's really good um the ASMR bro is really good as well if you like eating videos he is probably tops with when it comes to eating and he can eat a lot <laughs> um and yeah, and these people all have really good voices as well. Like voices for me is like the ultimate. So they all have good voices. Um, but he just eating like I'm not. I typically haven't been a big fan of eating videos, but his are extremely relaxing. So um, those are two and one that I've been watching for a little bit now. Uh, she deserves more subs than she has uh i want to say I, I might pronounce it wrong i think it's amika amika asmr i'll put links to these three channels in, in the description um she's got a super relaxing voice like super and all three of these people too get a, a lot of vids up so there's always something um to watch um there goes the train uh all three really good but, uh, the Amika ASMR, she deserves, uh, more subs, because, uh, she's really, like, a, like I said, I'm a voice person, that's, like, the, the number one trigger, um, for me personally, and, uh, she's really good, she does, like, uh, she'll, like, go through her collections of stuff, like, she has some Harry Potter stuff and stuff like that, uh, I forget, she has cards, it wasn't Pokemon cards, it might have been Digimon, I could be wrong, though, so stuff like that, stuff, though, too, um, Good stuff from all three, and I'll, like I said, I'll put the descriptions in there, uh, in the, uh, I'll put their links in the description. <laughs> right, so that was the first question from Scott Munn. I got two questions here from Austin Cole, Marvel or DC. Personally, I, it, it would be Marvel. Um, I'm not big into DC besides Batman, but Marvel's cool, but honestly, I haven't, when it comes to the movies, I haven't seen so many of the recent movies. Like, I don't know. To me, it's too much these days. But Marvel, to me at least, I like more. They have more interesting characters. Like, I'm really big on the X. I like the X Men a lot. I loved the cartoon back in the day. I had some X Men comics from the early '90s as well. Um, yeah, I mean, X Men is really like my number one for all of the superheroes, but. It would definitely be Marvel. Uh, favorite food is, is chicken fingers. I think I've said this in the past, but I love some chicken fingers uh, with barbecue sauce. You can't go wrong with that for sure. <laughs> um, all right, so that was Austin Cole. Uh, Shadow Cat Fox says, uh, what's my favorite word? Favorite word. Actually, sometimes I do trigger videos. Like, trigger word videos, I should say. I will, uh, say words that I do like. Like, sabotage is a word that I absolutely love. That's definitely my top five words. And, unfortunately, you don't get to say it much in conversation. <laughs> um, sabotage, I really like. Uh, I'm trying to think. That's always the one that pops up in my head. But, like, glove is a nice word, too. Glove I kind of like as well. 
figures. <laughs> figures is a great word. Fi- or just figs. <laughs> I like to say figs instead of figures. Sabotage is probably the uh, favorite word, though. To hear and say, I haven't heard it said too much. <laughs> Out of my own videos, but... Alright, so that's a... Uh, Shadow Cat Fox's question. Next question is uh, Mr. ASMR Boy. He says, uh, what's my favorite kind of gum? Honestly, it's probably this. I got a new pack here. Um, Trident Tropical Twist. I really like this. Uh, watermelon's good as well. Um, I mean, in terms of like great bubble gum, I mean, great uh, bubble tape, I should say. If you remember bubble tape, it came, and they probably still make it. It came in the... Uh, kind of container, like almost like a tape measure kind of looking thing, and you'd pull out the bubble tape. What was it, six feet of bubble tape for you, not them, I think was the commercial. That's really good, too. Big League Chew is pretty good as well. I haven't had that in ages. I like this tropical twist and the uh, the watermelon flavor. I think it might be strawberry, but watermelon. So that's that question. Um, Tim Bob asks, too, what are my thoughts on Animal Crossing and Harvest Moon? I don't really have thoughts on them because I I played a little bit of Animal Crossing on the GameCube. I believe that was the first one. It was cool. I understand why people like those games a lot. And I probably would get into them and like them as well. But I just, I, that was the only one I played a little bit of. Um, my fiance actually has Animal Crossing, so maybe for the GameCube. So maybe I'll, I'll play that again at some point. Um, Harvest Moon, same thing. I, the only time I've ever played in Harvest Moon was when I was testing it when I got at a garage sale to see if it worked. Same thing, though. I know a lot of people like those, and that series has been around longer than Animal Crossing. I think that might have originated on the Super Nintendo. Like I said, I haven't played them, so really, I've never really played enough of them to, to give any kind of opinion. Um, second one is, uh, which do you prefer, detective movies or spy-type movies? It gives a couple examples like Scooby and Sherlock Holmes, Mission Impossible, or Bond. Probably spy type movies. I mean, I like them both for sure, but Sherlock Holmes is really cool. But I do love the Mission Impossibles. They've all been good and they're getting better too. And the Bonds are great. I like the Bonds even from the early ones in the 60s and stuff. You know, through GoldenEye is my favorite. Um, but they're all good. The Mission Impossibles are really. The first Mission Impossible is so cool because they do that. Uh, thing that I love, and I think they did, I haven't seen the last one, but my friend said they did it again, the part where he's in the, uh, um, he's like in the, uh, they bring a guy, he's like drugged up into an apartment, built apartment room, or hotel room, and they get information about him or something, all of a sudden they just pull away the walls and in a warehouse, like I love that kind of stuff, um, trying to think of other ones, uh, like a spy type movie. Oh, my cat's going in the pan now. Uh, some extra noise. Um, Sherlock Holmes is really cool, too. I like those ones with Robert Downey Jr., and I like some of the earlier ones, too. And the show. Well, I've seen some of the show. Not the elementary one. The one with uh, Bender Dick Cumberpatch. Is that his name? <laughs> and uh, Martin Henderson. There she goes, uh, completely going nuts. But, yeah, I would say spy movies. Um, but I like them both. Why does cat have to do this? Like, she gets in there and she goes nuts with it. I mean, all cats do this. They're annoying. Hold on a second. She's done. Now she's going to cry. And uh, here's my SMR addiction with a question. Uh, what is my favorite fast food restaurant? I'd probably say Taco Bell or Burger King. Taco Bell, I really, I really like. Though. Taco Bell is the only fast food that makes my mouth water <laughs> before I eat it. Yeah, I understand this stuff's not the greatest in quality and stuff, but I like it. Um, Taco Bell has these potato grillers that I like. Loaded potato grillers I like, and the beefy Fritos burrito I love um, for sure. I like BKs a lot too, and there's a place in Massapequa. That, that's uh, called All American. That's been in Mass people since like the fifties. Used to go there a lot. I've been there in a while though. Um, can't get there now since I'm in Iceland. But I was in Mass people, it was obviously easier to get to. But they're really they got awesome burgers. 
um, for sure. They're like a well-known place. Like people come from you know far out on the island and stuff to go there. Um, I mean, that technically I probably like better, but Taco Bell or Burger King, I'll go to more. Um, I like the rodeo burgers at uh, Burger King. They're awesome. Um, next question here is from Jugger Singh. I might, I guess, I might be pronouncing some of these wrong too, so I apologize. Um, five favorite video game characters is the first one. I probably should have researched these a little bit before, but I think I can do this off the top of my head. Um, or not. Tommy Versetti from Vice City is awesome. He's definitely my top five. I love Vice City, and he's the best character. He's voiced by Ray Liotta. Um, really like Lee uh, from the first season of The Walking Dead. Spoiler alert here, he doesn't make it past the first season, but he does have some flashback scenes in the last season of the game, which was really cool, but he was an awesome character, man. Like, you almost wanted him to last longer, but it's good that he kind of didn't, because then his character just becomes bigger and, you know, almost like legendary, kind of. Um, but he's awesome. Uh, let me see. Trying to think of some. Oh, this is frustrating me now. Drake's really cool from the Uncharted series, for sure. Um, I like Ezio from the Assassin's Creed series as well. Um, I mean, I guess you could say like Indiana Jones because I love Indiana Jones games, and he's a great character in general. And the guy they got to do the voice of him, I don't know if he was the same one, but in the N sixty four one, he's really close to Harrison Ford. Um, Funny thing is, it's like not Mario or Sonic or anything like that. Um, Master Chief's really cool, for sure. Um, this cat's gonna be annoying. People like that. Um, I'm trying to think of some games I've played recently, or even older games. Um, Was that five? Oh, James Earl Cash. How can I forget him? From Man, the first Manhunt. <laughs> He's awesome. That game is awesome, man. That game is so. It's like a snuff film. That game. He's a great character. Um, actually, Stark Weather from that game, voiced by Brian Cox. He's the bad guy. So, I'm not. You're not using him, but he is still a character. Obviously, he's. I mean, a lot of times, especially back then, because the actors weren't as known, super known actors weren't known to be in him as much. He just hit it out of the park. He was awesome. I still quote some of his lines. <laughs> you were stacking up the corpses like it's... You know, you're stacking up the corpses like it's Judgment Day. <laughs> He's awesome. There's plenty more. Maybe I'll mention that again in another... Uh, um, oh, you know, Kane is really... Kane and Raziel are both really good from the uh, Blood Omen Soul Reaver series, Legacy of Kane series. They're actually really good, and they're all so well voice acted. Um... Yeah, there's all types of games where there's characters I like, but those are the ones I can think of kind of off the top of my head. And uh, his second question is five favorite characters from any comic brand. Um, Batman is one. Uh, I like a lot of the X-Men. Uh, Gambit's cool. You know, Wolverine's cool. Cyclops. Um, I really like uh, Apocalypse, actually, from the X-Men series. He's a great villain. Uh He's really awesome. Um, who else? Um, hmm. It's a lot of X-Men people, you know, for sure. Because that's, like I said, that's the series I kind of like the most. Um, I'm trying to think of other guys. Come on. Think, think. Um, you know, I mean, Iron Man, all those, I don't hate them or anything. Spider-Man's really cool, too, but. Um, yeah, I got those guys for sure. Is that five? I don't know. <laughs> um, I 
can't see this person's full name. Pretentious Fly Awesome. Pretentious, yes, Pretentious Fly Awesome. Austin, sorry. Um, he might have more to his name, but it's not like it's not showing. Um, what is your favorite book or series? I have not read Player uh, Ready Player One. I saw a brief part of the movie. Um, my favorite book series right now is the Witcher series. I love the Witcher series. I had played the second game first, then I heard there was books. I start picking those up, and they're awesome. The cat Geralt's such an awesome character. Like, there's a lot of good characters in those books too. Um, that the Harry Potter series is really cool. Uh, Lord of the Rings, I really like as well. I read a, like a lot of single kind of books, so it's a little bit harder in terms of series. I like a lot of Stephen King stuff as well. Um, but it's probably the Witcher series for sure right now, just because the character's so good. I really like that world, like even more so than like any of the other stuff like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings or Star Wars and like, you know, Marvel stuff or the DC stuff. Um, I love that stuff for sure. Um, so it's definitely the Witcher series. Well, yeah, he says favorite book here, actually. Yeah. Um, I don't know what my favorite book would be. I don't know. I'm trying to look on the sh shelf over there, but it might be like a Stephen King book, like a uh, I really like The Green Mile. It was an awesome book. I mean, I'd probably go with one of the Witcher books. Probably one of the compilation ones with just the stories, like The Last Wish or Sword of Destiny. Um, pretty much any Witcher-related stuff at the moment. Um, so that's a question. Let me see. There's another one. I can't read the full name. Um... It's Charles Bar Charles Barclays, and I don't know what the other word is. So I'm so sorry. That. It won't tell me the full name when I look on the uh, the thing here in the comments. Charles Barclays, Barclays, maybe Shin. I don't know. <laughs> um, we asked a few. What's something we'd be surprised to learn about you? I don't know. I mean, I've gone over a lot. I'm left-handed. <laughs> from pretty bad anxiety from time to time and I've mentioned some of the feelings I've gotten I like I like cartoons still I guess I don't know if that's surprising because I probably mentioned that too um, I don't know I, I like cats a lot you know nothing too surprising I guess maybe the lefty because it's not a ton of lefties out there <laughs> maybe that uh, what's the best part of quarantine for you? Probably being able to make a ton of videos. Really just being on point with getting videos out and stuff. You know. Spending more time with my fiance. We have not gotten on each other's nerves really at all so far. Um, which is good. Sometimes if you're close quarters with people, that can happen. Um, the worst part is just not being able to kind of just like go. Like We can still take walks and stuff, but... Oh, I just can't take that walk to play and trade or something like that. Or just go out to Massapequa for something like that and stuff like that. That's kind of the the, the loss of, you know, certain freedoms is, is frustrating for sure, which it probably is for everybody. And the uh, last one is, uh, if money wasn't a consideration, what would you do for work? I don't know. Make YouTube videos, make better YouTube videos in terms of, like, well, if I had the money to get <laughs> all types of better equipment, maybe go really hard at stuff with role plays and stuff like that, like a lot of other big YouTubers do, but, I don't know, maybe write books, um, stuff like that, I don't know, really, <laughs> um, I guess just writing stuff too, you know, just, you know, because you might not get huge, write like horror stories and stuff like that, something like that, probably, alright, next one here is uh, from Gavin Robinson, uh, what's your favorite console and why? And then he's like, uh, sorry if you've answered this before. I might have at some point in my other ones, but like I said, that's a while ago, so I have no problem answering that again. Like, it might be different this time, actually, but... It, 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 it's between the Genesis, Sega Genesis and the Super Nintendo. Like I've said, that's my favorite console generation, is those... That 16-bit era, I love it. It's when I was, like, a 
you know, it started in, I think Genesis came out in 89. I want to say Turbo Graphics was out then too. Um, and then Super Nintendo came later. So I was like, you know, 10 to, if you count up to the PlayStation as the, the, the tipping point, 95, 95. So I'm like 10 to 16, 17 years old, but I'm still playing those games. And just a prime time for me. Love those systems. They just nostalgia. I still like a lot of the stuff. Um, it's so hard to choose between the Genesis and Super Nintendo because I like them both for different reasons. Part of me wants to say Super Nintendo, but part of me is like, oh, the Genesis, man. Those sports games on the Genesis can't be beat. Super Nintendo has the cool stuff like the RPGs, better RPGs for sure. Um, Genesis has the Road Rash game, you know, and it's just both are so great. I'd almost put them in a neck and neck tie and put them as like 1A and 1B kind of. <laughs> I'd probably say those two just because the games were great. It's just great memories and they still, a lot of those games still hold up. Just so many fun times to be had playing with my friends, just going home, playing, getting a new game. Because you didn't get as many games back then, you know? And they were more expensive. I remember, like, Mortal Kombat when it came out. It was like 70 bucks. And this was up until, like, the N64. I remember Road Rash was $70. Me and my friend split it. The games would range from, like, 50 to, like, $90 back then. <laughs> but... It was such a big deal. You get one for Christmas or something. Like, oh my god! You know, it was just—I I think it meant more back then. Maybe for anybody who's younger, it means a little bit more when you can't get games as easily because you don't have, you know, a bunch of money or something. You know, you're not working, you're not picking up games whenever you feel like it. Um, but those two are probably a tie. <laughs> um, Northern Ridge asks, "What's my most sought after game?" There's a lot of games I'd like to have that are just way too pricey. Like, I'd like to have all the Fatal Frames. I've had two of them at point... Actually, I had three at point two. I got it for a great deal, and this website, Glide, would sell video games, but I ended up selling it. UN Squadron right now is probably it, and that's not that expensive. I need to pick that up again. At the moment, that's probably my most sought-after game. I mean, I don't know. I don't have any holy grails, as they say. I mean... It really shouldn't be called a Holy Grail because the Holy Grail has never been found. So technically, you're never going to find that game because the Holy Grail hasn't been found yet. <laughs> um, but mm, I mean, it's, it's a lot, you know. I mean, I could say Final Fantasy games. I can say, you know, nothing outrageously expensive is uh, anything I'd want at the moment. It's probably UN Squadron. I'd love to play that game. Act Racer is another one as well. That's pretty sought after for me, but nothing that's impossible for me to find for sure. Um, Joe Dirt asks, what's my favorite movie? It's either The Blair Witch Project or Ravenous. I've talked about these in the past. I love Ravenous. It's like a dark comedy. It takes place in the Sierra Nevadas uh, in the 1800s. It's really good. It's like a cannibal movie. It's like a dark comedy. It's really good. Um, and Blair Witch Project is the only movie. And a lot of people hate The Blair Witch Project, which can be understandable. For me, I loved it because it's like any... It's the only movie to ever keep me on the edge of my seat when I saw it in the theater. I was like, oh my god, this is incredible. It was legitimately creepy to me. I love those two movies. Um, Craig uh, Bailey asks, what's my favorite beer? Probably Samuel Adams. I'm not huge on beer. I will drink it. Samuel Adams is good. I like Heineken Light. Um, and even Budweiser. Like I like almost any beer, really. There was a cheap 40 we used to get when we were in high school called Country Club. It was like $1.50 for 40 It was so awful. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> um, it's probably, it's probably Samuel Adams, though. I kind of like Samuel Adams for sure of all of them. And he asks if I watch soccer. <laughs> My favorite English team. If so, Manchester United is the correct answer. I don't watch soccer. I've watched from time to time. I really like the FIFA on the Genesis, but... And it's funny, too, because I kind of almost follow it sometimes in a way. Like, I know of teams like Arsenal and Chelsea, Manchester United or Manchester City, and Tottenham Hotspur. I know some of the teams, but I kind of pay attention when the World Cup comes around and all the countries are involved. That's kind of fun. I like tournament-style things, <clears throat> but I'm not super into it, um, for sure. But 
I don't hate it or anything like that. I've always tried to get into it, but like when they, you know, the U.S. What are they called? The soccer league in America. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> it's probably some basic. I've never gotten into that though either. Um, I tried to get into it when I was playing FIFA. I think I used Orlando's team because um, I had some guy who used to play for Brazil on there. I believe that was good. I forget his name. The games are fun though. I like playing the games, but I've never gotten super into it. Maybe someday. Um, Helen M asks, "What's my favorite trigger? Favorite movies?" And she also likes Shit's Creek, which I watched. I've been watching for the last season now. Great show. Favorite trigger is voices. I love people's voices. If you have a good whisper, a soft spoken voice. Soft spoken, not soft so <laughs> Soft spoken voice, that's where it will be at for me. Um, and I like stuff like video game stuff, like the kind of moving of a disc in a case or the pulling out of cases off a shelf and stuff like that. I really like. There's a lot of tapping I like as well. I've learned to like a lot of noises I would normally have known before I got into ASMR. Like, I got the feeling, but it wasn't from certain sounds because I wasn't hearing them. Um, but voices for sure. Favorite movies, like I said before, Blair Witch. Um, Ravenous. Uh, I like the Star Wars movies. I haven't seen the last two. Um... really like the Lord of the Rings movies. The Harry Potters are good. Um, Club Dread, one of the uh, Broken Lizard movies I really like. That's another movie I could watch all the time. Um, Last Action Hero is really good with Arnold Schwarzenegger because it's him just ragging on his own movies, which is funny. Um, there's a ton. I really like Doctor Sleep for a recent movie. That movie was awesome. Um, stuff like that. I mean, there's a bunch, you know, horror movies like the original Halloween's phenomenal. Uh, In the Mouth of Madness is a really good horror movie. Um, Stuff like that. Um, Maddie McLean asks, if you give your younger self advice, your younger self advice, what would it be? Um, Probably be, you know, get, get help in terms of anxiety and stuff do it when you were young because I went to psychiatrist and stuff when I was younger but I stopped I never went through with it and I probably should have to just try to get to get on track with my life much sooner back then it's probably what I say to do like a late teens early 20s thing and stick with it I mean you know um, and that's probably it for that you know and maybe you know certain things go like I used to write a lot not write but I have a lot of ideas I like and I never write them down Some I did, like, maybe try to push forward with that back then as well. And then other stuff like, don't sell any of your video games that are older. Don't get rid of those Star Wars toys you got when you were a kid. (laughs) I have pictures of me when I was, like, three, four years old opening the Ewok village. I'm like, oh, what are you doing? Don't open it. (laughs) Stuff like that, right? So you'd have all the gold mine and stuff. Um, But, yeah, probably just get kind of the therapy and that kind of mental help I needed back then instead of having it linger for longer and not going full bat, you know, bore at it. Um, Austin Bernard asks, how many different states have you been to? How many different countries? Well, countries is one. Canada. <laughs> Canada is the only other country I've been to. I've been to Toronto. I went to Niagara Falls twice. Um, Toronto's a really nice city. Went to the Hockey Hall of Fame. Took in a Blue Jays game. Went to the zoo there. Um... What can is it? States I've been to Massachusetts, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New York, obviously, I live here. Jersey, five. Virginia, six. South Carolina, seven. Georgia, eight. Florida, nine. Uh, Tennessee, ten. I think I've just been to those ten. Did I say Connecticut? Yes. <laughs> I think that I'll. Maryland. I've been to Maryland as well, I'm pretty sure. I think we went to D.C. once and we stayed in Maryland. <laughs> Not a lot of states. I'd like to go to more, but um, those are the ones I've been to tonight for now. I'd like to go overseas, too. I'm a little, I've am a little. i been better with flying now, but I don't know how I'd do with longer flights to maybe get to like an Ireland or an England or something. Um, maybe one day. So that was from Austin Bernard. Um trying to find all these other ones here. Um, 
Sam Lipper asks, how did you get into ASMR, both as a viewer and as a creator? I talked about in this past. I was looking for a video by someone, and they had an ASMR channel. And I was like, what is this? I'm like, that face looks familiar. Let me look at it. Pretty sure I don't make videos anymore. And I was like, who? I'm like, this is interesting. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, I, I've gotten these feelings before. This is what it's called. I didn't know what it was called, you know? The tingles and everything. So that's how I started to watch them from that but i used to watch older videos like collection videos and video games and get, and listen to them over and over because i was so relaxed from the videos but i didn't know what it was so it was that um uh that's how i got into watching them and the same thing i'm like i want to make these you know i, I know what this is i want to get into it you know kind of almost wanted to start a fresh channel too i had my old channel i wanted to do something new and at first i was like i can't believe i'm making these videos it seems so different and i'll admit a little weird and that, oh my god, I'm actually making these role plays and stuff. It felt weird at first, and then I got comfortable with it. I really like making them, so I got into them from all that. Um, for sure. That was cool. Um, Santiago Sanchez asks, where do you live? Married, kids, hobbies, job. I live on Long Island. Um, not married yet. No kids. No hobbies, making YouTube videos, uh, video games for sure, reading, taking walks. Um, not too into sports as much as I used to be. Maybe I'll get back into them again. Um, I kind of like collecting sports cards, like hockey cards, but I don't do it enough to really consider it a hobby. Um, it's really just video games right now, and I've been reading a decent amount, I guess. Um, job, I've said, I work part-time screen printing shop, which I'm not doing right now. And I sell on eBay as well, um, which is nice that I can still do the selling on eBay. I got to list some stuff today, actually. Um, that was from him. Oh wait, oh wait, no. Let me just put another comment after that. Um, X Spa for the foreign X asks. I guess it's almost kind of like a request, and like whatever. Consider doing a gumchung Lego video where you assemble a set. I mean, I would consider doing that, but I don't think I'd do it in time. I just wouldn't, because it could take me an hour to make the set, and I honestly don't want to do an hour video. I get kind of, I get nervous about outside interference and stuff. That'd be hard, but I mean, I could just do one for a little bit in a video or something like that. Maybe not do it, or maybe do it in two parts or something like that. I can consider that whenever I get a new set, which I don't know what that will be, honestly, right now. All Day TJ asks, has two questions, top three video games. Is the first one I've talked about this. It's the Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine on the uh, N64. I love that game. My friend and I played that game back when it came out in like 99, 2000, was it? 2000 maybe? We played it like crazy. Final Fantasy 3 or 6 is awesome. And Silent Hill 2. Those are probably the top three. I love Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is like almost the perfect story in a video game. It's so good. It's almost too good for a video game in some ways. Because it's just so... It's better than most movies. Silent Hill 2 is incredible. Um, those three are awesome. Final Fantasy 6 in Japan. 3 here. It's my favorite Final Fantasy game. I just love that role-playing game. It's so good. So many good memories from that. Silent Hill 2 might be the tops. Because it's just so, so good. And so creepy. Um, second one is... What's my favorite video game memory? Finally beating a hard boss. Getting a new name as a kid. Getting a new game as a kid, etc. Um, it might be from getting the N64. I remember I got it early. It was supposed to be a Christmas present. I was in 12th grade. And, uh, I got it. And we just gotten a new TV, so it had the video in, you know, the, the red, white, and yellow wires, which I wasn't accustomed to. So we got the N64. My mom gives it to me early because I was paying the ass. I'm like, oh, I'll have it now. <laughs> um, I had Mario 64 with it. I think Mortal Kombat, too, but I ended up getting rid of that. She ended up bringing that back, I think, because I didn't care to play Mortal Kombat. Um, so I put it on. And I, I could hear it, but I couldn't see it. I'm like, what's happening here? I put plugged in everything. I'm like, what the hell? I'm getting pissed. And my mom's like, what are my mom's like, let me call this hotline thing. And it was a simple fix. It was just you have to switch the thing over to video. And I didn't know how to do that back then. We didn't, neither of us did because we used to TVs where it's just, you flip the thing, one switch. This, you know, you have to go to input and go to a certain thing. And all of a sudden, Mario 64 comes on. I'm like, oh, there it is. Thank you very much. So he didn't even seem to think it was that funny because it was, like, I guess, a common question at that point. And uh, um, 
So, what was I saying? I sorry, I just got a text. So when I saw it on screen, me and my mom was like, oh my God, this looks incredible. Like I saw Mario 64, I was like, holy shit, this is it. Like, oh my God, my mind was blown, right? I had my friend, we used to get high, had my friends come up and say, you gotta check out this. It'd be like, wave race that, Shadows of the Empire, stuff like that. That's probably my favorite memory in terms of games because it was the most excited I ever got from a new system. All right, our next question, uh, one-time graduate. First question is, what do you think about a thermal rift? I used to watch him, but he was one of the first ones I watched. Admittedly, I stopped watching him, but he makes incredible videos. Like, I really keep it to only a few people that I watch now because there's so many ASMRs, and there's so many good ones. He makes incredible stuff. I don't, I'm sure he's still making videos now, but his stuff was top-notch for sure. One of the best. Uh, and second question is, what are your favorite ASMR videos I've made? I like the shady stuff. I like kind of the weird paranormal, weird universe stuff, and, and the Fallout role plays were really cool. Love doing garage sale pickups as well. Those are my favorite because I love showing what I got, and I know people like it. But it's probably that kind of stuff where you can be a little creative and stuff like that, right? It's fun, you know? Those are probably my, I mean, if specific ones I don't really know. Um, the Fallout ones were really fun, though, for sure. Um, because you can get different stupid props you find in the basement. You, you don't look at the battery and make up weird things for them. It's fun. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Vidang, Vidang Sharma asks, how often do I work out? Not very often at all. I walk a lot, and I'll lift some weights from time to time, but I don't work out much. I probably should work out more. And have I ever been to India? I have not. From my previous question, the only other country I've been to is Canada. It's a little bit of a cheat because we're in the same continent, so you don't have to, you just go, for me at least, just go up, shoot up New York State, and, and you're in Canada. Um, I like to go to a lot of other places, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, and then he asked some more, this is an interesting one. Um, first one is, do you ever feel empty like you are not happy, but you aren't sad as well? Um and if I use certain things like Netflix as coping me mechanisms, how do I deal with severe anxiety and the palpitations that come with it? Um, I unfortunately suffer from anxiety as well. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I I know the feeling, the blah feeling, where you're kind of just there and you're kind of like, you're not upset, you're not happy, you're just kind of going through life and you're like very blah. It's hard to get out of the blah. I don't use that. I used to, you know, I used to watch when I was younger and I get panic attacks. I used to tape Denver playoff games and the Super Bowls when they won. I used to pop in the old playoff games and just watch Terrell Davis rip it up or Elway just watch the games. That used to calm me down. Playing certain video games, anything to get my mind off it, I would do. Sometimes taking walks if I wasn't getting the ghost feeling. Um, but, you know, certain things, yeah, I would watch to do it. I don't eat anything as a coping mechanism. I, I kind of don't use things as coping. I guess they are coping, but more to overcome them, I guess. Maybe that's the same thing. <laughs> I mean, to deal with it, same thing. I try to not focus on stuff, you know. Watch something, keep my mind away from it, try to breathe and calm myself down. It can be hard as hell. I've had panic attacks that I have the feeling for, you know, three weeks. It's terrible. Anything to keep your mind off it, it's tough. You know, certain movies I'll watch and stuff like that, certain games... And eventually it just goes away. I mean, you know, that's why, I mean, you just kind of, kind of not let yourself get too dragged into it. And that's hard to do. It's, you know, it's easy for me to just say that, but it's hard. It's been hard for me to do that. I mean, it can be frustrating at times too, but to come down from a bad panic attack is like one of the best things because you're like so mentally drained and exhausted. You're like, Ugh. But a lot of, like I said, I used to watch those old Bronco games and stuff and you know, sometimes play certain games as well or watch other movies and just do or watch certain parts. You know, if I knew about ASMR back all the way back, well, I guess I wouldn't have been able to watch the videos back in the late 90s anyway. <laughs> YouTube wasn't a thing yet. Um, and the second one is if you ever, whoops, oh, I lost it. Um, have love at first sight ever happened to you? You get attracted to a person so strong. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't think I've ever had that. I've had strong feelings for people almost at, at a first sight, but I never liked just straight love. And that, for me, at least, has built over time, for sure. But 
Um, I could see why people would get like that way sometimes, you know, for sure. Um, but um, I've never really had that. I said, take some time to build. It will develop strongly over time. Like sometimes it will take a few hangouts and then I'm getting stronger feelings, but never like right at first sight for sure. And the other questions aren't personal for sure. I'll answer almost anything. <laughs> I don't have a problem talking about like my mental health and stuff like that. Um, but no, I've never like had that like where if someone I don't see someone at first, like I'll be upset that I haven't seen him, but I won't get like overwhelmingly upset. But I will be upset um, that I haven't seen him at first. Um, I think that's all of them. This might be my longest video ever. <sighs> I got a lot of questions, so that's a good thing. I want to say I answered answered all of them. If I forgot any, just ask me again. If I forgot any of your questions, here, I can answer it in a ramble. But uh, that's it for now. This gum has completely lost its flavor. <laughs> but uh, thanks everybody for checking this out, and have a good day.